Police are investigating after a woman hit a group of cyclists, killing one of them. She told police she was distracted at the time of the accident. CBS 4's Ted Scowan is live outside Broward General Medical Center in Fort Lauderdale with the latest. Ted. Yeah, the good news, Maribel, is that a total of three people have been released from the hospital so far. All of this coming from a crash that happened on Sunday where a car plowed into a group of more than a dozen cyclists. It's really hard. It's hard. I don't know how to, like, say it. A devastated family trying to cope with the loss of Denise Marsh. She was killed while riding with her bicycling group Sunday morning. They're in balls, but, like, I felt like I was another son to her. Investigators say Marsh was riding with a group of 14 cyclists when a car driven by Nicole Vanderweet crashed into them on State Road 84 near Flamingo. Police say several factors appear to be at play here. She admitted to being distracted with something in the passenger compartment of her car. That coupled with the sun directly in her face uh, from the east. Investigators say the driver is cooperating. Police are looking closely at the car's airbag deployment information and analyzing cell phone data from the driver. We do not believe that speed, nor alcohol, nor drugs are a factor in this crash. Police say five others, including a 14-year-old boy, were hit by the car and injured. The teen had minor injuries. One person was in critical condition, and two others have already been released from the hospital. Marsh was an avid rider. Every weekend, it's usually like a very large group. She goes all the time. A friend tells us Marsh was the one who always rode in the back of the pack to make sure no riders were left alone and everyone was safe. Today, her friends are sharing this symbol on social media, a bike on a black ribbon in memory of Marsh. Yeah, I think just everyone just needs to take a breath and remember when they're on the road that the importance is being on the road, being physically and mentally there. I spoke to Davie Police this morning. They tell us the investigation is still going on. And at this point, they figure it'll be about a week or so before they know if any charges will be filed in the case. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.